Hello everybody, this is Major7. The first thing I want to remind you is to subscribe to my channel and to hit the bell to get notifications. I'm also on other social networks such as Facebook and Instagram, go check those as well. The first part of this video is going to be my second unboxing. Uh, you get the link for the first one here somewhere where the saxophone case is. So let me get the box for you. Here we go. I got this box a couple of days ago and I'm really looking forward to seeing if this is the solution I was looking for to improve my videos. The thrilling part of this whole thing is that I've actually not opened this box yet, so it could be broken in the first place. Let's see what's inside. Really excited about it. Okay, as I could have expected, there is paper! Loads of paper, meters of paper. I might do a sculpture with this, maybe an arch, something like this. Yeah. <laughs> My washing machine has finished working. If you wanted to know, a box inside the box, and this is actually what I ordered. There is a box inside the box inside the box. <sighs> And there is a case inside the box, inside the box. So let's open this first small part. I guess this is a stand. One fun fact about this is that when I ordered it, there was a disclaimer saying that uh, if this part was inside, you had to write to the support. Okay. This was not exactly... A nice gesture. This is the stand, it looks pretty solid. This is probably going to be my setting and I'm going to show you why later. There is also this part here, it doesn't move. It looks like something that should bend. Oh, it does bend, but it's oh, stiff. Yeah, could use it out against some muscles. Is there anything else here? Yes, there is. Well, this small part here that is where you put your camera. Let's move to the actual thing. Installation instructions, some foam, some filters, if you want to color the light with some more paper, I'm gonna add it to my sculpture later. And the actual thing. Okay, okay. I guess this part goes in here. Hello everybody, this is Major7 and I'm talking to you from inside a ring light. You haven't always had that gold ring over your head, have you? I've actually already screwed things up, this part wasn't supposed to go here, the other tube was supposed to go here instead. Okay, now it makes more sense, I can bend it one side or other, or keep it straight. Okay, this part here goes here probably. This thing is set, it's time to put it where it should go thereby behind where I usually shoot. Yes, I am trying to understand how to fold this thing back. The way it was. Yes, it was this way. All right. This is where I usually work. And uh, this is actually my digital piano. And this is where I usually put my camera on. You can see my microphone getting the signal right now. Let's move everything a little bit towards me and see if I can fit the lightning I got. Should go somewhere. Ah! Everything is falling apart. Abort, abort. I want you to abort the mission immediately. The space I have now is a little bit less and I really need to clean here. But as you can see, this is probably the best solution for this new setting. I'm going to try to put my camera there and see if it works the way I want it to. Okay, just a short footage with my phone to show you that the camera is actually into position. Whoa, it turned on. Wow, it looks like a halo. I think I've become a saint or my camera has become one. Saint camera. This is definitely too much and uh, I'm going to try to add the filters to it. Probably a lot better. Let's try to play with the intensity a little bit. Well, how do I look? 
As you might have noticed, I really don't have much space in my living room for lightning equipment. I started looking for a feasible solution when I came across these things that are called in a quite self-explanatory way, ring lights. It seems that these things are mostly used for makeup videos and makeup tutorials, but it was the perfect solution for me and who knows what I might be doing in the near future. I have been doing theatre for some years now and I know that I don't look bad with some mascara on. So it's been a tough time for my channel, especially concerning the consistency that I wanted to give to it. When I started this whole adventure four months ago, I had just decided to release a video every week or two and to release something concerning music and my way of experiencing it. Things got out of hand when I started working on actual songs and the related videos. I really enjoy working on both parts, writing and recording a song and editing the video, and I got carried away and ended up releasing the Carbonara song two weeks ago. That video was incredibly time consuming really, I had to work for over 200 hours to finish it. Writing the song, recording the sound, synchronizing all the sounds of the pans and pots on the screen, recording the voices. I've had to work with over 30 vocal tracks to get a result that was close to what I had in mind at the beginning. All these while having other jobs and having to make a living out of them. This whole incredibly exciting but super stressful experience made me sink back into some bad habits that I was trying to oppose to aka not having breakfast, not doing any physical activity whatsoever and going to bed late and thereby waking up late or without energy. It also turned me into a terribly boring and annoying person as I would answer to basically any question with carbonara. I've essentially noticed that as it is with everything you learn and understand how things work with time and experience. I started by talking in front of my camera and now I write the scripts for my videos. I had never had the need to finalize a song, to mix it, to properly mix it and to master it, but now I'm doing it and I really like it. I don't really think that I will ever be a professional in any of these fields, but I'm getting the hang of it. The problem with the last video was that I asked too much to myself. I had to develop new skills for almost every part of it and uh, this brought me to stop dedicating time to myself and simply working, eating often badly and sleeping often too little. This self-analysis allowed me to refocus things a little, I need more time for myself and I need to organize my workflow better. Thereby, my keywords for the future are Consistency, one video every week. Simplicity, I cannot think of releasing such complicated videos in no time. Organization, this comes with the experience I'm gaining in foreseeing how long a video will take to be done. I might write a song for each of these words, but in due time. As always, thanks for watching and sharing, leave a comment down below if you want to. See you next week, bye bye, bye Major7.